Since my last update, the Sunday Mail has published the first opinion poll not to give Yes a recent lead. This should serve as a wake-up call for us all not to be complacent. Thankfully, the next poll published once again gave a lead to Yes, making it 23 out of 24 consecutive polls. After last week's Tory admission that an SNP majority would mean an independence referendum, we had further confirmation that it's Scotland's choice from Secretary of State Kwasi Kwarteng on Sky News. But it's up to the Scottish people to decide uh, when and, and whether they want a referendum. The key step to achieving independence is to ensure we achieve an SNP majority in May. That is the best way we can demonstrate the Scottish choice. There were no votes in Parliament. The main business was the budget statement, in which the Tories are intent on making poverty worse by cutting household incomes, with a public sector pay freeze, tax rises and cuts to universal credit. I challenged the Health Secretary over the weakness in his government's Covid arrival quarantine policy. It's a matter of urgency that his government changes policy to reduce the risk of importing further and more dangerous variants. I called on the UK government to reverse its international AIDS cuts proposals, something it is currently only delaying until after the G8 summit to avoid international embarrassment. While the absence of a timetable for when the cuts will take place leaves charities trying to plan ahead in limbo. And I followed up this theme on the importance of winning the peace during the counter Daesh statement. Can the minister tell us what cuts will be forthcoming to programmes supporting communities ravished by Daesh throughout the Middle East and North Africa? We can all expect the coming elections to pick up pace now that cross-party agreement has been reached with the CMO to permit campaign leafleting by volunteers from the 15th of March. It still won't resemble a normal election, and I would encourage everyone to register for a postal vote to make sure they can take part. Visit snp.org forward slash postal oblique vote for more information. Until next week, stay safe.